just not fair. I'm sure it isn't, is it? Just think, Mouth. I get to spend the next two days diving with sharks while you have to clean cages. That's not funny. I think it is. Sneak me aboard. No, Mouth. I told you. There's an age requirement. That's bogus. What does it matter how old I am? When it comes to being around sharks, it matters a lot. <clears throat> Personally, knowing you, I think it's more for the safety of the sharks. Oh, ha, ha. Now don't forget to chop up fish for the gulls. Fish for the gulls. And the coral reef tank. It's got fingerprints all over it. Fingerprints on the tank. And watch the octopus. Watch the octopus. He tried to escape again last night. Well, I can't help that. Who forgot to secure his lid? Uh... Right. See you in a couple of days. Jordy cast off all right? Yeah, he's fine. Good. Don't you have some work to do? I've got all kinds of stuff to do. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming, Mouth. How am I supposed to be enthusiastic about cleaning cages and tanks? Well, it has to be done. Not everything is fun and games, you know. I know that, but I feel like I never get to do anything fun. You know, you're right. You haven't gotten out much lately. I've been so busy, you know. Sorry, Mouth. That's okay. Why don't you go with Dune on her pelican assessment? Pelicans are boring. They don't steal people's food like gulls do. They don't scream in your ear and they don't eat garbage. Have you ever spent any time with them? Well, no. Well, why don't you give it a try then? I think you might be surprised. Okay, you're right again. Thank you. But if that's the case, there's a whole bunch of cages that are in dire need of a good scrubbing. I think I might need to reevaluate my conclusion. Yeah, I thought you might. As if this day couldn't get any worse. Hey Mal, what, taking two backpacks? One isn't enough to carry all your junk? Ha ha, this one's dunes. We're going to Shipyard Island later. Shh, the fishing's supposed to be great, very natural and secluded. Did you put a sock in it already? Frankly, I don't care where you fish. Good, we're out of here. Bye. What was that all about? Nothing, let's go. Wow, that was a long way. I'm hungry already. You're always hungry, Mel. So what are we doing here anyway? We're checking on the chicks over there on Rookery Island, out in the river. Well, why didn't we just land there then? It's illegal. When people get too close, it can scare away the parents and they might abandon the chicks. Oh. Come on, we'll get a good view from over there. They look so much bigger up close. Brown pelicans are actually the smallest of all pelican species. Their stubby legs are funny. Yeah, they don't need long legs because they don't wade for food. Wade? Walk around in the water for food. Like that great egret there, see? It's using its long legs to wade through the water in search of its next meal.
Their colors tell you their age. See the one on the left? That's an adult. The one on the right is a juvenile, like you. What's it doing? They do that to get rid of the heat and keep cool. Like when a dog pants. I thought we didn't have white pelicans around here. We don't. Those are the chicks. They're covered in white down. Oh. What are those over there? Those are cormorants. And there are some great egrets over there on the left, and a great blue heron on the right. It's like an apartment house for birds. See the way the branches stick out? They offer the pelicans protection. But when people don't throw away fishing line, it can get the pelicans tangled in the branches. They become trapped and can starve. Really? That's horrible. Well, this population looks good. Come on. Whoa, it just lifted up in the air, like something pushed it. They're riding air currents, Mal. The air currents help them conserve energy. Pelicans ride them so they don't have to flap their wings so much. Look at that one. What's that hanging from its tail? Fishing line. They get caught in it a lot. It's a real problem. Look at that one. Its wing is caught. Yeah, it happens all the time. Those people need to be more careful. Well, sometimes it's not at the fault of the people, Mel. Sometimes the birds go after their catch and they get tangled. Jeez, Mouth, I can hear your stomach grumbling from here. Didn't you eat any breakfast? That was like a whole hour ago. which way the wind is blowing by watching pelicans. Really? Yeah. Like, look over there. When the wind is behind them, they fly high. And then over there, when the wind is in front of them, they fly low to the water. Wow, that's cool. Watch them play follow the leader. Oh yeah, look at that. Unbelievable. Hey, I'm a growing kid. What are they doing? They're fishing, Mouth, trying to catch lunch. Looks kind of dangerous. Yeah, they hit the water at almost 40 miles per hour. Really? They don't get hurt? They've got air sacs that cushion them, like balloons. The impact stuns the fish below and makes them easier to catch. Ah. What are those over there? Snowy egrets. They chase fish around in the surf. <laughs> They're funny. I like how they run around. See, pelicans can't do those things, so they have to dive for their food. 
Watch that one flip its head and swallow the fish. Oh yeah, look at that. It takes pelicans time to learn to fish. They learn by trial and error, just like you do. Wow, I never realized how cool pelicans are. Yeah, they're an important indicator species. They tell us when something's wrong with the environment. The important thing is people stay away from their breeding islands, like Rookery Island. Are there other ones? Yeah, there's Oyster Island in the lagoon, uh, Hookville Island, Shipyard Island. Shipyard Island? Yeah, what's the matter? That's where Tiny and his cronies are heading later. Are you sure? Sure I'm sure. He didn't want anyone to know. Okay, let's go. There's Tiny's boat. Good, hopefully they haven't left yet. Okay, you go that way, I'll go this way. Shipyard Island's sure a long way from here. I hope it's worth it. Oh yeah, there's plenty of fish there. You'll see. How do you know? Well, uh, simple logic, my friend. See, there's lots of pelicans there, right? Sure are. Well, the pelicans go where the fish are, so we go where the pelicans go. Hold it, Tiny. Oh, hey there, Dune. Nice to see you two. I'm fine. How are you? You can't go land on Shipyard Island. It's a pelican sanctuary. Shipyard Island is plenty big enough for all of us. Listen to me, Tiny. If you land on that island, you'll scare the parents away. They'll take off. Well, they can come back when we're done. They won't come back, Tiny. That's the point. They'll Shh. abandon the chicks. The chicks will die. Sheesh, great parenting. Maybe those chicks are better off without the parents if they're just going to abandon them. You know that's not how it works, Tiny. Hi there. You wouldn't happen to be going to Shipyard Island, would you? Um, yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> you know, it's uh, protected, and, uh, and I'm the one who watches over it. Uh, yeah. I suggest that uh, you fish somewhere else, like where it's legal. That sounds like a great idea, Tiny. Then we don't have to sneak around so much. Did you put a sock in it already? Good thinking, Mel. Thanks for calling it in. My pleasure. are beautiful birds, but they don't have it easy. Give them the respect they deserve. Show them that you care. See you next time.